emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Neptune is one of the most interesting and ferocious creatures that either Jill Valentine or Chris Redfield will encounter during the events of the game Resident Evil. A gargantuan shark with a devastating bite, Neptune was actually considered something of a failure to the scientists and researchers who'd had high hopes for their experiments with the kings of the sea, Great White Sharks. However, despite their somewhat meager testing results, that doesn't mean that there's nothing to fear from the underwater denizens of the Aqua Ring. Chris! Chris, stop! No! The story of Mother Neptune as we know it begins with the researchers at the Spencer Estate and their desire to create ever more deadly bioorganic weapons. In hopes of achieving this goal, the researchers began testing the T-Virus with multiple different animals to see how they reacted when the virus was introduced into their bodies. And one of the organisms they tested were the great predators of the sea, the Great White Shark. The scientists theorized that, since the Great White was already so capable, introducing the virus to it would expand its capabilities exponentially. Not only that, but the experiments would prove a good test to see if the virus was compatible with sea creatures, and so dozens of Great Whites were brought to the facility to be tested by the researchers. Unfortunately for the Arclay scientists, however, the results of the experiments yielded relatively unimpressive results. While the T-Virus did enhance the Great White's capabilities to a degree, it wasn't as big a boon as they were looking for, and so the project was abandoned not long after it had begun. Most of the Great Whites that had been brought to the facility were disposed of, save for one female Neptune which was kept for observation to see if any unexpected developments would occur. And eventually, it would be discovered that this lone Great White was actually pregnant. This Mother Neptune would give birth to a new generation of sharks that showed similar alterations to their mother. And though most of her children wouldn't be able to survive this drastic change, to the amazement of the researchers, two of these young sharks would endure, and they would join their mother in her Arclay captivity. This unexpected development gave the scientists an interesting footnote to the thought-failed experiment with the Neptunes. It proved that the T-Virus could influence fetal creatures in their mother's womb. And though the facility relied on cloning creatures to bolster their bioweapons, it brought the possibility of a self-reproducing B.O.W. into the imaginations of the researchers. Mother Neptune and her two children would continue being monitored by the scientists beneath the dormitory for quite some time, but would eventually get free thanks to one of the researchers going mad and flooding the lower levels of the facility, allowing the three deadly Great Whites to roam the Aqua Ring to their leisure, killing any who found themselves unlucky enough to enter the dormitory's lower levels. Neptune is one of the most fascinating and dangerous creatures that lurks within the walls of the Spencer Estate. Though they may be entirely reliant on the water that fills the Aqua Ring, there are none who can challenge them in their element. And though their shortcomings may eventually bring about their downfall, if you underestimate these failed experiments, they won't hesitate to prove their bloodlust. <laughs>